Hello everybody, I'm going to talk about my TED Talk video that is called The Magnificence of the Spider Silk uh, from Charlie Hayashi in TED 2010. Uh, as we know, the spiders can make silk. Uh, the spider silk is incredibly thought and it's stronger by weight than steel. Quantitatively, spider silk is five times stronger than steel of the same diameter. The spider silk is finer than the human hair and is able to keep its strength below 40 uh, grades in, uh, centigrades. Spider silk is also very elastic and captures silk, remains unbroken after being stretched. Uh, spiders use the silk to catch some food or to transport to another home. Many scientific try to make this uh, silk as uh, artificially, like the Craig Bio, uh, Biocraft Laboratories uh, try to make uh, oh, uh, a silk like the spiders, spider one. In 2013, Craig successfully completed its pilot production program for its spiral silk product that is called Monster Silk. In, on July 12th of 2016, they announced their first U.S. military contract to deliver the Dragon Silk. Also, we have a lot of, uh, uh, we have 14,000 species of spiders. For example, the brown recluse spider, the camel spider, the wolf spider, or the hobo spider. Also, we have the red back spider that is often mistaken for the deadly black widow. While it isn't as deadly, it is still one you have to be very carefully of. Also, the Brazilian Wendery spider is one that is very interesting to learn about. They are in the record book as a spider with the deadliest venom in the world. Uh, spider silks uh, seems to have superior biocompatibility. Spiral silk proteins have already been proven to be appropriated to form scaffolds and promote cells addition and development. Uh, scaffolds made of several protein crustums appear to be suitable to support the growth of various cells. As Cheryl Hayashi said in the video, uh, all the spiders are descended of one only spider that divides in many types of spiders along all this time. Uh, also, uh, she says that the long-term goal of the scientific community, uh, which includes expression and purification of vast amounts of recombinant skill, uh, uh, as well as the development of a spider metallate to produce synthetic silks will be endless application in the future. Uh, this includes using the skills protein uh, for medicine, engineering, for athletics and defense in many cases. Uh, for example, uh, she, say, she talks about the silk uh, and, and their applications. Uh, first, we have to know that the spider silk is semi-crystalline biopolymer with a unique combination of high tensile strength. It's like, it's like uh, the steel, but it's more stronger. Uh, it has from 0 0.2 to 1 millimeter diameter have a higher breaking energy than other natural or synthetic fibrous polymers. Spider seals unique combination of stretch and elasticity is judged to be superior to that of synthetic high tech fibers made by the human. Uh, Las it passed uh, in Mucoyopadia uh, Investigation Center. They try to, to generate uh, artificial silk uh, like the spiders, but they miss it because it, it, it broken at the first stretch. Uh, uh, 
the, 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 the spider silks are very used in China for the production of clothes. Uh, but also, uh, we have to know how spiders create the silk as as uh, as Charlie Hayashi said the, there are seven types of silk produced by seven silk glands as a single spider doesn't process all seven glands but has at least three of its mates uh, we have the uh, acniform gland cylindriform gland ampullate glands pyrmiform glands Flagellation, flageliform gland and aggregate gland. The glands are located on the lower side of the abdomen and contain a watery fluid known as dope. This fluid passes through to the spinneret via a multitude of microscopic tubes where water recovery and solidification begins. The substance exists through the spigots which are mobile, finger like. Protrusions and the resulting skills emerging as a solid silk. Uh, so, uh, Hayashi uh, recommend us to take care more of spiders because they do a lot of work uh, eating some flies or some insects that are very awful to our perspective. So she said that we have to be more considered with spiders and there is more to learn about them for example uh, the the market of spider silk uh, uh, craig center investigation is focused on the creation production and marketing of high and especially technical fibers of silk the global market demand for technical fibers of silk is growing rapidly and these materials have become essential of the day and day of the human. The annual global market for technical fibers has already reached approximately $1,033 billion. So, uh, so uh, we, we should we should uh, learn more about spiders because the known as we know is very limited so there is uh, many things that we don't know about spiders uh, for example uh, the wolf spider are very agile and they move quickly they are active and they seem muscular like all the spiders they tend to do well living around. The tarantula, when you think of big spiders, you think this is the, f the first one. Yeah, and, and you're right because the tarantula is the biggest one. The violin spider is another common name for the brown recluse spider. They are well known for the look and design that features a type of violin drawing. Uh, the biomimetic textiles, as we know, biomimetic is the is an idea taken from nature. So imagine what people do with the spider silk net. So we have a lot of clothes made of uh, spider silk idea with the protein fibers and the ultimate to send sustainability but uh, the half fish which resembles an eel in appearance has a skeleton entirely made of cartilage and no scales which means it is a kind of different of the the real but in the future we will have some kind of clothes that has uh, the net as the spiral silk as we know nowadays so I invite you to search more about spiders and take care more of them. Thank you very much and this was my video for the English class. Thank you.